Hi everyone, welcome back to the Godex Knowledge app tutorial series. In this episode, I will show you how to create a local fixture library, which means adding lights to the app that are not in the preset library. Now we know that the Godex Knowledge app can control all DMX enabled lights because it's based on the universal DMX protocol. There are many DMX lights from different manufacturers, but we often use just some specific types of lights to create amazing lighting effects for various scenes. This method of adding lights profiles allows you to add your frequently used lights to the Godox Nolid app and control them anytime. Even if you need to use a new light, you can configure it just in a few minutes. No matter which manufacturer your DMX light comes from, you can find its DMX profile in the official website or in the manual. It might be called DMX profile specification, DMX reference, or DMX tables. In the DMX profile, you will see the color modes of the light, which depend on the manufacturer's software and hardware design. Each color mode has several channels that control different parameters and functions. For example, in RGBW mode, some lights have five channels, while others have seven or more. With this information, we can configure the light in the app. OK, let's configure a light that isn't in the preset library of the app. Suppose this light here is a generic DMX light. It's a full color and has a RGBW mode in its menu. If you want to use the RGBW 8-bit mode in the app, first, we find the light's DMX profile and locate the RGBW 8-bit table. It shows that this mode has five channels by default, brightness, red, green, blue, and white. It also mentions that additional functions can be enabled with extended channels. OK, now in the app, in the top right corner, there is a fixture bank icon for creating local libraries and we click create fixture bank. In the top part of this interface, enter the product model. You can name it whatever you like for this super bright full color light. Maybe I call it super color. And enter the manufacturer's name. Once you success successfully configure it, this name will appear in the drop-down menu for future configurations of other modes or lights from the same brand. Okay, for the category, choose the appropriate type of light, such as single point source, panel, and tube. In the lower part of this interface, click Add Mode and enter the mode name like RGBW 8-bit. It's important to match the name with the one on the light for easier matching during setup. You won't mix them. Click Confirm. The mode now appears here. Click on the mode to start adding channels. There are many options, but for this light, we'll add the five channels from its DMX profile. Brightness, red, green, blue, and white. First is the brightness, also known as dimming. 18 bit or not, not. The starting and ending values are default, just so just confirm. This channel now appears here. Next, add in the red channel. Click Add Channel, select red. You can adjust the, the starting and ending parameters values, but I prefer the default one to 100%. Continue add green, blue, and white channels in the same way. Okay, now you can see the RGB W8-bit mode with five channels. Click OK to confirm. The configuration appears in the local library, where you can modify it later if you need it. So let's test in adding this light. Click Add Fixture, select Local Fixture Bank, and find the brand name we just added. Choose Super Color and the RGBW 8-bit mode. Currently, we've added only one mode for this light, but you can add more later like CCT or FX mode. 
Select the quantity to 1 and check the starting address on the light. Okay, it's 11. So set the start address to 11 in the app. We have only one light, so leave the position as 1. Pick a red color as the marker. Click Confirm to add. Since this light supports CRMX, let's connect it with the Timolink TRX. In the main interface, click Connection Settings and turn on Bluetooth. Choose the Timolink TRX. Okay, it's connected. And let's see if the lights can... Okay, it's responding. And let's check each channel. The dimming. Red. Green. Blue. And white. Perfect. Next, let's add another mode to this light, the CCT mode. Go back to the fixture bank, find super color, click edit, add a new mode named CCT 8-bit. And check the DMX profile. The default mode has three channels, brightness, color temperature, and green magenta adjustment. Let's add these channels. First, brightness or dimming. Set the color temperature starting and ending parameters value from 1800 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin to match the light's CCT range. Then add the green magenta adjustment channel. In the previous interface, you can see all the modes we've added for this light. So let's test the newly added CCT mode. Add a new fixture. Select Local Fixture Bank and find Super Color. Choose CCT 8-bit mode and change the starting address to 20. Pick a green marker to distinguish it from RGBW mode. Set the control box address to 20 and the mode to CCT mode. Okay, now test the each channel. Dimming, color temperature, and green magenta shift. Okay, no issues. This method might vary slightly in different situations due to the hardware and software differences. For instance, you might need to add a Timolink receiver or transceiver to lights without a building lumen radio module, or add more functional channels based on the light's DMX profile. But overall, the process is similar. The Godox Knowledge app will be your best partner in exploring lighting control. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.